The rebirth of this neighborhood has been impressive over the last five to 10 years, gaining major access to public transportation, increasing the walkability. You know, people be trying to leave their car in the driveway, plus keeping that tight sense of community within these two areas. South End slash Dilworth has been on many, and I mean many, many people's radars from individuals to families alike. For starters, let's define where these two areas are and why I always group them together when it comes to South End and Dilworth. For starters, they back up right up against each other. If you see South End, you see Dilworth. Most people that live in Dilworth or South End always spill over in between the two uh, neighborhoods. If you're looking at Uptown on the map, you're on that kind of southwest border, maybe five minutes of a car ride, 20 minutes if you're going to use public transportation or what we call the light rail, and you're only about 26 minutes if you just want to stroll and use your God-given feet. South End is going to be for all of you who love that work, eat, sleep, play environment. This is the epitome of walkability when it comes to South End. I don't care if you need to walk to the grocery store, you go on a Ride Aid to go get you some Advil because you're hungover, it does not matter, or just a quick bite to eat. South End has some of the best restaurants plus breweries, and we'll get into this in the entire Charlotte area. When it comes to working in South End, right, if you are a small business, whether you're a small business owner or you're in any type of retail, retail space, the foot traffic is going to be excellent here. They are building right now 819 square thousand square feet, 819,000 square feet of pure office, kind of like we work space, right? And that's not including the 4 million plus office space that they already have in the South End or very, very close by the South End area. And on top of that, on every single corner and street, there's going to be an apartment building. I can let you guys know that right now. Now, you heard me talk a couple of times about the nightlife in South End. It's because outside of Uptown, again, like I told you guys before, this is probably the best spot to be. Now, you will have more of a demographic that likes to get down at night. I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to say everybody is like that in South End. You'll find your middle ages. You know, you'll find some of families inside of South End for sure. But most of the families are going to be pushing towards Dealworth. Dealworth is going to be that true... I'm talking about true cul-de-sac suburban type of feel, right? You're inside the city, which is an amazing thing, right? Amazing thing. You, But you feel like when you live in Dilworth, you actually feel like you're inside a suburban area or you may be, you know, 20, 30 minutes outside of the city, but you still have that proximity. A, you already party adjacent because South End and Dilworth are literally a three minute drive from each other or a 15 minute walk. This is what I mean about the spillover. A lot of people from Dilworth enjoy the luxury of having something so walkable so close to them, but they are a party adjacent. And here's why Dilworth appears to so many, quote, you know, families or individuals who just don't want to hear the ruckus at night. According to Niche.com, Dilworth is first in the best places for young professionals to live, 14th in the best places for you to raise a family, and 23rd in the entire Charlotte area for places to buy a house. And Dilworth, you're talking about tree line streets, manicure lawns. This doesn't exclude you. If you, if you a single or you just a young couple ready to start their family, or you just don't want kids, but you, that's the type of environment that you guys want to be in. This is the this is the place for you guys. Like I said, everybody doesn't want kids, especially nowadays, right? But you still want that adjacent lifestyle, but still have access to the city. Dilworth is going to be your places. Now, let's talk about the living situation real quick in both these areas. When it comes to South End, again, this is going to be more of your renter friendly area when it comes to South End. Again, work, eat, sleep, play. You're not going to have too many single families, but are there a lot of apartments available? Heck yeah, you shouldn't have any problems finding one. Here's the kicker though, right? There's always two sides to the coin. It's going to be expensive, right? South End is going to be one of your more expensive. Well, South End and Dilworth are going to be more one of your more expensive areas to live in. For a studio, you're looking at 12 to 1400 inside of South End for a studio. And if you're talking about a two bedroom or a three bedroom, easily $2,000 or more. When it comes to living in Dilworth, 
this is going to be a little more tricky. You'll have some websites that say, you know, it's a 60 40 split, you know, 60% of people own 40% of people rent. You're going to have other websites that say it's a 50 50, 50% 50 of people own 50% uh, of people rent. Personally, I think that number is just a little higher when it comes to deal worth. I personally think it's more of like 70 30, maybe even push at 80 20 when it comes to owning a home or living inside of um, uh, deal worth when it comes to actually living inside the community of it. Here's the thing. Even after doing my own research, the tricky part comes because over the last 12 months inside the actual deal worth neighborhood, right? There's only 47 homes that sold inside the area, but that's not all right. Guess how many homes sold for under a million dollars inside of deal worth only 10. For, so you're talking about 47 homes, right? It's already hard enough trying to get inside of Del Worth, but only 10 of those homes have sold under $1 million. One of those homes under the, you know, the, uh, inside those 10 was a two bedroom, one bath, 754 square feet, single family ranch, right? That's not big. 754 square feet is not so big. And that sold for $530,000. Here's the offset to that, right? Say you guys, you, hey, this is my spot. I gotta be in South End or Dilworth. We can make it work because they still have condos and townhomes, new and old. If a condo or townhome is preferable to you guys, if you're talking about Dilworth, you're gonna be looking at anywhere from about 600 to about 850. 50 for a townhome, right? Depending on its finishes, right? I will budget more on a seven. So depending on if it's new or old, if it's a little older, you could probably get it in the sixes for sure. When it comes to town, I mean, when it comes to condos, you're going to be looking at a little bit cheaper, a little bit smaller, but you're looking at around 470. When it comes to South and four condos, you're only looking at between three, uh, about 300,000 to about 675 on a very high end townhomes. You're going to be looking at around 550 to about 775 when it comes to townhomes inside a south end now dilworth has been known for very good schools as well so again you you have a lot of given take here when it comes to south end and dilworth yes you're gonna spend a little bit yes south end is known for that little bit more party a little bit more younger crowd or just those people who still want to be in a mix Deal worth gonna be a little more residential, a little more laid back, a little more family oriented, according to niche.com. And you know, once you kind of pull in there, you can see from the videos, you know, it's you know, you know, it's more of a call de sac suburban type of area, uh, which is nice. Again, some of the best restaurants in both areas for sure. Plenty of things to do when it comes to South End, whether you live in Dilworth, whether you live in South End, you enjoy the amenities that South End has to offer. And again, you're a short drive away or a short hop on a light railway from uptown. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. If you guys don't already know, my name is Devonte Davis, the local realtor in and around the Charlotte area. If you guys are moving up here, or you guys are already in the Charlotte area looking to move around, make sure you guys hit me up with a call, email, text. And that's always, we will be dropping these every single week, trying to get more into twice a week, but we'll see what happens. I, I just want to make sure this is the best quality videos for you guys. We're not going to skip on no information and we're not going to skip on no shots being delivered. So you guys get a true feel of what each one of these areas look like. Okay. So as always, I will see you guys inside the next one.